Hi, this is Jason Thatcher, and uh, it is week two of season two of 8 for Vegas, and it looks like we'll have an almost full team tonight. I got an email from Rolando saying that he wasn't going to be able to make it tonight, which kind of sucks because, you know, Rolando's a lot of fun. But uh, he said that our two replacement players, they crossed over sometime during the week, and we'll be here tonight by 6 o'clock, which is great. The strange thing, very strange, uh, the last line of the email just says, hand jobs. That's it. Are we getting hand jobs? Giving them? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I do it so much myself. I mean, I gotta be pretty good, but I thought those days were over. Don't start with that shit. It's not shit. You yes. need to submerge yourself in the calming waters of Mother Nature. Do you know that the calming waters around here, the closest calming waters, are fucking poison? But you're talking about the East River. Yes, I am talking That's about the East That's not what they had in my They had like the calming waters of oh, the mine. Oh, my mind. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm sure in China or Mongolia, wherever they came up with this Buddhism shit, part of my life, <laughs> wherever they came up with this shit, there were actual calming waters that they sat in. Okay, I know what you mean. I, I don't think many religions were prepared for the clusterfuck that is modern day living, but you know, it's like you do the best you can. And you work with what you got, and then. And the rest of the alcohol life. takes care of. Kind of. Yeah. A lot. Good work. Center. <laughs> Center. So listen, I've done the calculations. We need to win at least three matches every week to get to the playoffs. Is bribing an option? Bribing who? The other players? This doesn't sound like a very Buddhist thing to me. I'm sorry. My old life keeps creeping back in. Sorry, Buddha. Buddha slapped themselves like that? Damn it, I'm so used to being a Christian. Okay, what other ideas do we have? Anyone? How about if we uh, hit out on the other team? I've got the money to do that now. I think we should save that as a last resort. Check in. All life is sacred. Not really. Hey, so can you please <laughs> introduce yourself? I'm Kat. I'm Joy. It's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm, I'm Jason. Hi. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm not sure I understand. I mean, you're on Rolando's team, but you don't look Mexican. Uh, oh, we're not. Fucking INS picked us up when they were doing a sweep. Thought we were using fake IDs. Mm -hmm. They thought we were too short to be Americans, but perfectly sized to be Mexican maids. <sighs> Crazy, you know? I mean, I've, I've seen things. <laughs> I've done things. I mean, what have you done? What have I done? What haven't I done? How was your trip back? <laughs> it was fun. It was long. Very long. Well, it took five hours waiting on the side of the road, and then I finally got picked up from some old man in a 50-year-old hunker car of a thing. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Yeah. Do men get carpal tunnel? Uh, Do they? I think... <laughs> Yes? From what? 
from what? What do you think I'm talking about? Oh, I've seen this look before. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You gave a hand job. <clears throat> I did. I did. I really did. Yeah. <laughs> do you know how long it took? No. The guy was 50 years old. Yeah. 50. Yeah. I assumed that uh, he would, you know, succumb to premature ejaculation, but he didn't. Because yeah. INS took my phone, my watch, everything. I had to look at the mile markers to figure out how long I had been doing it for. Can't move my wrist. And what about you? I, I... I mean, have you ever heard of a Mexican with a Brooklyn accent? <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the guy that picked us up said it was this new, this new thing, you know, illegals picking up regional accents. This one, this one guy in the truck with us, I, he was trying to do a Massachusetts accent, but it was, I mean, it was so obvious that he had just been watching clips of, like, the mayor of Springfield. <laughs> so Rolando told you the, the deal, right? With the money? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. You know, after this last week I just had, I feel like I understand prostitutes so much more now. Because I'll do anything for money. She thought she would, you know? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Just, you know, do Hi, ladies. Hey. <laughs> What's the matter? Listen, it's time for a team pep talk. Okay. This is yeah. our new sponsor. Gonna help us out this season. But first, I need to tell you that we all, listen, focus. We all need to play our best this season. There is a lot on the line. Yeah. Okay? What the fuck is that? This is our, like I said, this is our new sponsor. Okay. She's gonna help us out this season. We don't have to. And there's. On camera. I'll do it. There's lots I'll of opportunities for earning anything. extra She'll money this season. I'll do anything for anything. Yeah. She does. That's what I like to hear. That's team spirit. You know it. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> is it clean? Um, no, it's not clean. Ian? That's okay. I told you yeah. to clean it out. Sorry. I do have Pure Up. And there's only two weeks left. Nice. Nice. Why isn't he saying anything? Well, he hasn't found his proper religion yet, so he's actually taken a vow of silence. Wow. That's very dedicated. 
What um, what religions have you been so far? What have you been? Oh, Judaism, Buddhism, right? Buddhism. Uh, he was Amish the week that he didn't show up. He was Muslim. Muslim, yeah. So serious that week. Yeah. What else? Oh, Satanism. Yeah, the pentagram on the hand. Yeah. In, in Hannah. He did win that week. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's next? What do you want to try next? I think you should go out on a high note. How about Atheism. voodoo? Scientology. Yeah. You got the money for that. Oh, I think you should do all three. I mean, you got time. Yeah. You know, you should really try them all. Joy, how is the uh, how's the team fitting for you? It's okay. Yeah. How are the how are the people? The money helps. <laughs> it helps everything. Is that is that true? Thank you.